octopus. I am a massager that you can use with or without my motor turned on. A person can use me to massage a particular area using the appropriate strength and pressure to achieve a desired effect. It helps to soothe muscles and relieve stress. Just a few safe, safety tips though. Vibration should never be used on the head or stomach. Vibration can also disrupt growth plates on young children if kept in one place too long. And you also want to make sure the vibration is on a low frequency for young children. Hi Ollie, I'm Spencer. How could your massaging tentacles help me and the other kids with sensory processing disorders? Well, Spencer, using the massager for vibration provides tactile and proprioceptive input, which are proximal senses that provide foundation for a child to meet therapeutic goals such as independence with ADLs, regulation of good behavior, and improved academic skills. Wow, I never knew you'd be so helpful. Thanks. See you later. Oh, hey there, Hypo Tanya. Ollie, I was wondering how you might be able to help me and other kids who have low tone like me. Glad you asked me that, Hypo Tanya. The vibration used to increase tone in the trunk and upper extremity can provide the base for distal mobility to achieve goals such as improved handwriting or independence in self-care tasks. Great, thanks for your help, Ollie. Yeah. Hey, Hyper Tony. Hey, Ollie. I heard you talking to the other guys and wanted to ask, how could your messaging tentacles help me and other children with high tone? I was wondering when you were going to ask me that, Hyper Tony. Well, the massager without the vibration turned on can help inhibit tone in hypertonic children, which may also help to achieve self-care goals such as dressing, feeding, and bathing independently. The calming effect of the massager could also help hyperactive children focus more and attend to classroom activities and homework assignments.